really starting to get the fall look now. All the birch trees turn yellow first. Guess it's a little difficult to see, eh? You can see the yellow starting. Oops, too far. Nice big old white pine there beside that spruce. A dog hiding underneath that. Not sure what he was sniffing under there. <laughs> but there's little um, white pine seedlings just self-seeded here all over the place. And I just happened to come looking to see at these things and I found a little white pine under here. But it's uh, it's got a really cool, unusual shape to it. It doesn't look like it's been broken anywhere. It just looks like it naturally naturally like that yes I have rubber gloves on I'm cleaning the I'm cleaning the storage area and it's pretty oily in there but look at this that's kind of really neat I might flag that like we're gonna be cleaning all this out soon so all this stuff will be all cleared out I missed a bunch of trees too. They cleared a whole other section out, covered up my pretty light green moss that I was getting from here. So I ended up uh, losing my batch of moss. I knew I should have gone and got some more. But it's just one of the things when you have a gravel pit, you gotta do all the cleanup and make sure everything is safe, re-slope everything. So that's what happened here. So I missed out on a bunch of trees here and my moss was over here on the on the slope. So that's gone. Yeah, the fall colors are here. Won't be long, it'll be completely yellow. And it's um it's actually late this year. A few weeks late. So be thankful about that anyway. I'm at work. I better get back to it. Well, I just got home from work, and uh, I've got some carnage from all the wind. Well, that was nice while it lasted. <sighs> Hopefully there's not too much damage. Doesn't look like anything was really disturbed in here. Well, they got lots of light now. Oh, good. My root overs are still standing. Well, That's 
on. Only had one plant knocked over here, and I mean the winds were fierce today. Absolutely fierce. Oh, my tomatoes are over too. I already picked up my wisteria. Ooh, uh, poor tomatoes. see if they stay up but I picked up my wisteria already it was on the ground oh and I've got a tree down over there hopefully it comes through okay but it was down on the ground and I got one tree down here oh oh one tree here down ah these guys are pretty tough I'm just going to take them around and put them on the ground over there for now. Feels like it needs water too. There, we'll put them here. Alright. Everything else seems to have uh, weathered alright. That's my look. Had a breakdown at work too. Oopsie. Just has not been my year this year. Oh well. I'll have to uh, put the plywood somewhere else for now and figure stuff out. Oh well. Well, these guys, I put a couple boards up to hold this up, but uh, they are going to see sunlight today like they've never seen before. Well, this year anyway. That's the best I could do for them. I gave them extra water and we get to hope for the best while I'm at work, I guess. I'm going to be bringing the trees early. It's fairly cold this morning. Um, I almost thought there was frost because everything is very, very frosty. But it's not. It's due, but we're close. We're, uh, I think it's at six. So, I should be bringing the sensitive trees in anyways, and then I'm going to use my old camper there, sort of like a greenhouse. And Good morning! Yes, good morning, it's Friday. So, there's been uh, a few changes in this mess. We're trying to give the bunny some extra room, but uh, my original plan was to put her over here, which I have to do today now. And I picked up two more shelves before my big incident happened. So today, I'm going to have to move everything around, make room, and uh, start bringing plants in for the winter. But that was my coffee calling. All right, I'm getting there. Bunny rabbits moved over. I've got lots of space here. Birds going nuts. Time to start putting some shelves together and get them in front of the window. All right, I finally have this all set up. So my oh, ow, my old shelf. Um, I think it's fifty-five pounds per shelf, and the new shelf is sixty-eight kilos or 150 pounds per shelf. The old one is a light duty. Ba, ba, ba. Holds up to 55 pounds or 25 kilos per shelf. So they even look different. But I assume they were the same. They came from Walmart, so it looks like they might be a little bit longer. Maybe they'll fit my trays on there better. We'll see. But uh, now i got to start treating the outside trees and getting them in. It's already 8 p.m. So, yeah. There's been company over and all sorts of stuff interrupting me. So, <laughs> never get anything done. Oh, well. So, these guys got a lot of sun exposure the last couple days. But, um... Actually, this shaded them a lot more than 
I thought it would, so that was pretty good. So I don't think too many of them have burned. Uh, they're dry now, but I did water them this morning, so they haven't been dry very long. Yeah, nothing seems to be too affected, but I gotta start getting them in the house. So this year, I want to treat them before I bring them into the house. Oh, some little flowers getting a bit burnt. These guys will come in the house too. They can't take a frost. My fuchsias. Um, yeah. So we're going to start the tree fall migration now. A little bit early, but um, I cannot protect them from the frost. And we're already starting to drop low. Like um, the shelter ripped apart. And that very night... There was salt added to my wound because the temperature, the night temperature went down to 6 Celsius. Uh, what's 6 Celsius in Fahrenheit? 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 40 Fahrenheit-ish. So we're, uh, we're in... The start of full fall so here we go at least I got most of the cuttings potted <laughs> I still have the uh, sea onions to go and then uh, I gotta start rehoming stuff so I don't have so much but for now anything that's not frost tolerant will have to come in the house yeah I really got to repot my spider plant too. But that's not a bonsai. It just needs repotting. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. I want to trim it down. I haven't had a chance yet. I know it takes to the trims just fine. As long as you leave green on the um, trunks. But there's no green farther down. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try trimming above uh, living branches and see if that'll work. I don't know. <laughs> but I got flowers coming. Look it up. Oh, come on. Focus. Focus, phone. Stay with me. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't rain before I can... Uh, Get the wood protected. I'm going to pick up um, Vapor Barrier in the city tomorrow. Um, that would be poly plastic see-through. And I'm just going to put clear plastic over this. Yep. I think that'll probably be the easiest thing to do. I might use some of this um, plywood on the outside of the bars to hold the plastic down. Whoops, there's a hole there. To hold the plastic down and wrap it around the bottom and then staple it and then attach the plywood uh, to the poles so it'll hold the plastic nice and tight up there so the snow falls off the snow did fall off of this tarp very very well but it's not rated for even though it's sold here saying that it can go through our winters it is not rated for our cold or our snow um, you can buy the tarps that are rated for our weather, but I'm scared to look at the price of them, so I'm just going to go buy poly. I know it's 70 bucks a roll. <sighs> yeah, we'll get there. Well, I was going to do the big migration today, and then I remembered that I have to put my drip pans, a.k.a boot trays on the <clears throat> on the shelves sorry about that must have been a bug in there um but i had to wash them first so i'm just letting them dry and i'll get those and a bunch more i have in the trailer on the shelves and it's not supposed to go below um 10 degrees tonight it's supposed to stay in the 20s which is what 60 or whatever fahrenheit i can't remember i really gotta learn that do the changey thing in my head but 
uh, let's see. I got some that are, <laughs> leaves are being burnt by the sun back there, but it is what it is. All right, so it's not going to go below 10. Oh, that's 50. It's supposed to actually stay somewhere around 17 degrees Celsius, so closer to 60 Fahrenheit. So, so I'm going to leave everything for today because I'm going to the city tomorrow. And I'm going to pick up my poly stuff tomorrow. And if it doesn't rain, I'll probably pick up a couple tarps too to protect my plywood. But if it doesn't rain... Whoa! Stepped on the dog. Sorry about that. If it doesn't rain, I get that poly up there before the next rain day. Which is supposed to be Monday night. Then I might actually be able to leave these out here a little bit longer because then they'll be protected from the temperature from the frost. Otherwise, I'll start bringing them in tomorrow. I'm just out of time. I have too much to do. I only have two days off a week right now until winter time. So we'll get it in there. We'll get them in there. I think I'll bring in all my, um, all my ficus. They don't like being out here anyway. And then I've got to bring in my mings. I think I've said all this already. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. <laughs> Be safe out there. The great migration will happen and it's going to happen soon. <laughs>